first thing I want to say about this weapon is that I do not like the rework of this weapon at all. I think the rework kind of ruined this weapon because it's just like you got a slash and then you just got a slam attack. Before, this weapon had like a little tornado, which, I mean, that makes sense. It's, it's smoke. I think a smoke tornado makes sense. It's just kind of a mid weapon now, but it's better than Katana, which was the last weapon that we reviewed. Wait, what? Wait. That's the same damage. Wait, that's the same damage. Wait, are you wait, are you serious? That's the same Wait, it's two thousand points more? Oh shoot. That's not that that's that's a really small difference. And that's also taking into account I have accessories on, so and passives. Okay, forget that. Let's just stay on track. So this weapon, it doesn't really have AoE. It has has a little bit, but I mean, ideally, this is not like the amount of AoE you would want for a weapon. So if we're looking at it from the PVE perspective of things, this weapon falls short, obviously. This is not a good PVE weapon. It's definitely better than Katana by a little bit, not by much. It's also terrible for PVP because it also only drains one dodge at a time, which is, I mean, that's... That's as unideal as it can get. It's just, it doesn't really bring anything to the table whatsoever. Like, it's just, it's a bad weapon. They kind of ruined it. It used to be a lot better before. It had a little ranged tornado on it. It's just, now it's just, it's just been turned into a, it's just been turned into a sword that just has, you know, one singular slash attack, which is nothing. And then one little slam attack. And it's a common sword. So, I mean, it's not like. It's not like you're never going to get it or anything. You're probably going to get it really early. I mean, it's common, so, I mean, you should get it. And if you do get it, that's good. It's a little bit better than the katana, but you're very quickly going to be replacing this with the weapon that comes after it, which is uh, Tashi Blade, which drops from the Sail Island, and it's uncommon, and it's decently better. I'm going to be putting this sword in the E tier as well. It's not really that much better than uh, than katana. In fact, I might actually... No, it's a common weapon. Pretty much a guarantee for you to get it. If you don't get it, then I don't even know how, but I'm going to put it in an E tier. It's not so much better than Katana that I would put it at a tier above it. It's going to get it straight E, but that's pretty much going to be it. There's really too much to say about this weapon. It's a weapon that's not really going to hold up later in the game. Stay, stay clear away from it. Stay clear away from it. Just, yeah, don't get this sword at all. In fact, I would argue that it has even less range than Katana. I think Katana has more range than this because, I mean, Katana has what? Uh, let's, let's check it out. I'm pretty sure it has even more range than this because this, decent distance for a starter sword. And then this, wow. So Katana has jitter, beat, and range. Oh, that is terrible. Just, and all it does, all it has is like 2,000 more damage and a tiny bit of AoE, which... Enemies in this game are usually spread out pretty far, so it's it's not going to help you in most situations. Okay, wow. It's worth... Wait, it might be worse than Katana. I'm still going to put it in an E tier, but that's that's going to be it for Jitter. It's, definitely stay away from this weapon. I would try to get Tashi Blade as soon as you can. 